girl's got to get ready for the season. She's going to have a hard life. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. You guys know that. You've seen how this thing is abused. That's why we like these kinds of sleds. But I need to make it look good because we have the Toronto Snowmobile ATV Power Sports show coming up soon. It's got to be all dressed up, look nice and tidy. It's got to look good. So you guys can come and check it out. Now, one thing we do before we start our season, we grab our sleds. We're pretty meticulous about this, actually. We get our sleds and we go over them. It's a preseason check. We make sure that everything is running the way it should. Uh, everything on the sled is prepped and ready to go. And there are a lot of things. You should actually do this. I'm going to tell you a few of the things that we do, but use your manual, your owner's manual for your sled. And if you don't have one, you can go online. You can find one. They're very easy to find these days. Go on there and see what you need to do to your machine to get them prepped. You know, every manufacturer has some different uh, advice, what they want you to do. But this is the way we do it. Now, the first thing I do, I start at the back of the sled and I work my way forward. This track here, you want to check that out. You want to check for weather cracking, tears, missing lugs. You know, some of us had a really low snow condition last year. Pretty hard on our tracks. I'm missing all kinds of lugs. You've seen what I've done with this thing, right? Studs are missing. You want to watch for those. Those are nasty. If studs are starting to come out, your track is getting weak. You're going to poke a hole in one of your coolers and that's not going to be good. You're going to lose all your coolant and it's going to go downhill pretty quickly from there. So check your track. You want to make sure that's up to snuff. We're going to work our way into our suspension. Now your rear suspension, you want to make sure that all your idler wheels are free and clear, no seized up bearings. Lift up the back of the sled, loosen off your track tension, maybe give them a spin, upper, lower. These ones don't have as many idler wheels, but a lot of your trail sleds do. You want to make sure that all your bearings are good in there and you're not going to run any problems. Nothing worse than losing a bearing and a bogey wheel or a idler wheel when you're on the trail. Your sliders, your high faxes as some call it, you want to get in there and you want to make sure that they're not too worn out. Now these ones here are actually quite worn a lot. I can feel a little lip on it so I know it started to burn there. And as you work your way up to the very front, it's a lot thinner. So I know that I'm going to have to replace those. You want to check your track tension after you've gone through all that. You want to readjust your track tension as per your manufacturer's specs. Set that up the proper way. I have a video on that. You can check it out. You also want to check your springs. Make sure they're all groovy and your shocks. Look at your shocks. Make sure there's no oil leaking. Make sure, you know, when you press down on the back of your sled, that it comes back up, that it doesn't go down too fast. Um, you don't have a lot of springing action in there because then your shock isn't doing what it's supposed to do, your rear shock or your front shock as well. Now is also a good time with your rear suspension to maybe set it up to the way you want to ride it the first time you go out, right? Maybe at the end of the season last year, you had a big heavy load on it. You maybe made some adjustments. So take a good look at your suspension and have it set up for the first ride. If you've all left old gas in here, you might want to get it out. You may have added a stabilizer to it. That's been a few months, right? Sometimes what I'll do, even if I have a stabilizer in there, I'll pull the fuel out. This is mixed. I'll use it in my chainsaw or something like that, depending on if they're the right uh, mixtures. If it's just uh, regular unleaded, you can run that in your razor, in your car, whatever. But you want nice, fresh fuel in these. You know, some of these newer sleds, they don't like old fuel. They're going to tell you right away. The computer's going to throw a little bit of a code. It's going to start to pull back the power of the timing on you, and you're not going to like it. It just takes that fun factor out of it. So get rid of that old fuel. Put some nice, fresh stuff in there. See, this is why we look in here. This all needs to be rewrapped. It's a bit of a nightmare. We're hard on it. Everybody knows that. You want to check your coolant level. Make sure that it hasn't dripped out. Now, hopefully, when you park your sled, you know, it's a good idea to take a marker and mark your oil level on your reservoir. Sometimes that oil has a tendency to drip down, makes its way inside your crankcase. Who knows, maybe on top of a piston and just sort of sits in there. It's not good. You try to crank it over some bad things can happen. You want to make sure that you haven't lost any of your oil. You know, you can also, if you really think about it, you can also just pull your plugs because you're going to put new plugs in, in it anyway. Pull your old plugs out, maybe turn it over a couple of times. Make sure that no uh, 
excessive amounts of fuel come out. You know, with older sleds, it'll start to leak in there, especially on the oldies. The needle and seat will get a little loose, stuff drips in, it's not good. Now, you want to get into your chain case. Look at that, I just got my new rag all oily. That's all good though. Look at this. I just rebuilt this whole thing. Why is that so dirty? You know, you're going to look around your engine. You're going to look around your motor, make sure there are no obvious leaks around your exhaust manifold, for example. You know, all that black stuff starts leaking out of there. You might need a new exhaust gasket. Maybe you're missing an exhaust manifold stud. That's not a good thing either. So you want to dip your fluid, depending on how many kilometers on it, you're going to want to possibly even change it depending on what your manufacturer's specs say. And this one here is bang on, and this is very clean fluid. I just rebuilt this whole chain case last year, so she's looking pretty good. I like that. Now these brake pads right here, take a good look at them, make sure they're not too worn. If you put a lot of kilometers on there, a lot of miles for you Americans, those things get worn down, especially if you're a hard rider. So check them out, make sure they're not too worn. Replace them if they are. Of course, you're going to want to check your antifreeze. Check the level on that. Make sure it looks really good. Up nice and high where it's supposed to be. If you've got a pull start sled, you don't have electric start on it, check the condition of your rope. Those things wear out fast. And, you know, first or second ride of the season, boom, it goes and then it's a nightmare. Check that out. Make sure that's looking good. Change your plugs, like I said. Change your belt. If you put a season on your belt, change it. Keep it. Keep it as a spare. And put a new one on. Set your deflection. It's easy. All this stuff is in the manual. As your belt wears, you're going to have to set your deflection. It's just the way it is. It's a wearing item. And you'll know when things just aren't quite right. If you're one of those people who brings it to the dealer all the time, they'll be doing that for you. But if you're like me, I do it myself. Easy peasy. Just get in there, check out your owner's manual, reset your deflection. These are your exhaust manifold studs. Now go in and check around there, make sure you don't have any black grease coming out of there. It looks like a grease, but it's oil. That means you've got a leak. You don't want that. You want to make sure that all the donuts on your exhaust fittings are nice and tight. You don't have any black in and around these areas here. That'll cause certain things to happen. Your machine might run a little lean. You don't want that to happen. While you're in looking at your clutches, changing that belt, you can clean the clutch plates. If you see some scuffing on there or you see some black belt material, you want to get that off. It's going to cause issues for you when you're using your new belt. Use your manufacturer's recommended cleaner for the clutches. You'll also want to make sure that when you're working with your rear suspension, you want to get in there and you want to grease those up. There are some grease fittings on there. There are grease fittings on your steering column. This one here, they're very easy to see up top, down low, you want to hit all those with grease. There are some little areas on your steering components that require a drop of oil. Older sleds need that. You can hit those as well. Check the overall condition of your wiring. Make sure there's nothing rubbing. A lot of times something will chafe, a little wire will chafe and things will go down. Maybe a headlight will blow, your, your uh, regulator, your voltage regulator is acting up because there's a little wiring issue there, maybe a ground. You want to check everything out and I just look at this here and I can see that this ground wire, it's come off. So I'm going to have to take note and I also know that we were losing plugs last year. One of these plug wires was popping off for some reason so I'm going to have to address that and take a look at it. When you're checking your exhaust, you've checked those donuts, you're also going to want to check your springs. Any cracked or broken or missing springs, you're going to want to replace those. Those springs holding that exhaust system onto the manifold, they take a lot of abuse, especially when we're hitting it really hard, coming off and on it all the time. And it weighs a few pounds, so it's bouncing up and down. It is a moving piece of uh, your machine, more or less, so those things break. These are your carb intake boots. We want to make sure that those aren't leaking. A lot of the older sleds, they have issues with the rubber sort of coming apart. They have a lot of hot and cold cycles. They're rubber, they come in contact with chemicals. 
and they have a tendency to crack. Sometimes there's a little bit of weight from your carburetors on there if things are moving around. The engine's moving itself and those boots will crack. And when they crack, they let air in and when too much air goes in, you got a lean situation and you're gonna damage your engine. Ask me how I know. You know, it's always a good idea to retorque your clutches to manufacturer specs. These things take a lot of abuse, a lot of those hot and cold cycles as well. You can retorque those. Check for overall condition of your clutches. When you look at the owner's manual of your sled, you're going to notice that there are a bunch of things they want you to do. And one will probably be checking all your suspension hardware as well. You want to make sure they're all torqued to spec. I have gone out, admittedly, I get a little excited, you guys know me, and I just want to get out and ride. And some of these bolts have come out. I've missed them. We've been lucky enough to find them on the trail but it does happen, so you're going to want to check those. I'm going to go through all these and make sure they're all tickety-boo, as they say. Now, there's really no reason to change your injection oil. It's not going to go bad on you over a season or two. It's going to be fine. One thing you want to do, though, go through your air box and all your little vents here. Mice and squirrels have a tendency to get in all that stuff, and they like to make a little home. So you better check that out, especially this time of year when things are starting to get a little colder. You know, they're just looking out for themselves. And chances are pretty good you're gonna find something in there if you just have this sitting in the back of one of your sheds. Now we move up to our front components on our sled. Check your shocks. Make sure that those are all up to snuff, no leaking fittings. I've noticed that if you look at this, I've lost one of my perches for this spring. It's gone. No idea what happened there. We have new Elka suspension shocks going on this next, so I can deal with that later. You want to make sure that there are no cracks in any of these welds on these A-arms. That your suspension is all ready for the season. This thing's going to take some abuse. So I want to make sure that everything's going to hold together on me. Make sure that these little joints here are lubed up if the manufacturer says that. And the front boots here, make sure there are no cracks in those. If there are cracks in those that let snow in, the snow turns to ice as the engine heats everything up. And then once they get frozen, they bust the boots out, locks up your steering, it can be a real nightmare. Now we're down to our skis, the last thing. You wanna make sure that they're aligned. A lot of times we'll be running, and I get this question all the time, you know, my sled's darting, a lot of things are happening. It's because as you ride these things, these bushings get worn out inside the spindles, your steering gets a little sloppy, everything gets loosened up and worn. So you wanna go through Make sure that when you grab this ski, there's not too much movement between the two. As you can see, <laughs> look at this. Come on over here. Check this out. Uh, pretty much everything is staying straight, but there's a bushing inside this spindle, and it's done. I know why that happens. It seizes up, salt snow, everything gets in there and then it starts to wear. So I have to address that issue. Check my carbides, make sure they're all up to stuff. And that's pretty much it. Make sure your headlight works, give it a run up, and then we're off to the races. Or just out to have fun with your friends. I'm looking forward to this season. It's gonna be the best snow yet. The last three years have been pretty, I'm not gonna say bad, but they've been they haven't been the greatest, let's say that. So things can only get better. I gotta thank you guys for watching. As usual, stay tuned because we have a whole bunch more cool videos coming up. Some more tips and tricks. I'm gonna put a wrap on a new sled. Gotta have all kinds of things to do. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. Check us out on social media. We have some new things coming up like sled of the week. How cool is that? All right, and some more giveaways. Thanks for watching.